Alright guys, welcome back. I'm Dave from the Kodo, back with another Pokemon guide for you. This is the Electrode boss. Probably the hardest boss uh, up to this point, being the second to last one, but this one is pretty difficult. Uh, basically, he's going to create these slow-moving electric balls that are going to follow you around. They, if they hit you, they stun you. While he's doing this, he's going to be dropping Voltorbs from the, from the sky that are going to have a little circle of electricity. If they hit you, they will stun you. And you don't want to get hit because you're just going to be constantly getting hit by everything because you get stunned. You're not going to have a lot of time outside of after beating him with a Pokemon to throw the bags at him. You have a little bit of time, but for the most part, just avoid getting hit by any of this. You can see right here, I get hit by those and they stun you really quick. Bring some Pokemon that are going to be uh, immune or be able to handle a shot from electricity and do damage to him because you want to get out of these battles as quick as possible. So stay out of the circles of the falling Voltorbs. Avoid the balls that are falling, falling after you. Uh, at a certain point, he will just like a little jump right there towards the middle. He's going to do another jump and he's going to create a huge area of effect, a huge circle that is continually growing. It's not going to grow to the size of the entire area. You'll be able to outrun it. And that'll get rid of all of the slow-moving orbs as well as the full orbs that are, that are left over on the ground. After that happens, you're going to be able to throw your Pokemon at him, do a little bit of battle. He'll be stunned if you beat him with the Pokemon. Then you can throw the bombs at him. See, this is the growing circle here. Just to avoid it. And as you can see, I didn't do too much damage here with the bombs before this point. Now I have the ability to throw in my Pokemon. Hopefully you get some damage done. Bring Pokemon that can handle a shot like that because it he does it over and over. After you get used to the pattern of things, you might be able to throw a little bit more of the bombs at them before this point. Um, I do later on, I get a little bit of damage done to them, but for the most part, you need to get to the point of battling with a Pokemon and make them knocked out. Or dizzy. Here, throw as many as you can, just go crazy. Because this is the best time to knock down his health. I keep going a little bit longer. Rinse and repeat. Once he gets down into about a quarter of his health, he will send out a blue version of the slow-moving electro, electro, electric ball, which moves a little bit quicker. So you just then you'll definitely have to just concentrate on staying away from it and not getting hit. Other than that, that's the fight. Don't get hit. Don't get stunned. Knock him out with your Pokemon to be able to throw the bombs at him. Chop down his health. It's a win-win at the end. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm going to leave the rest of the video going so you can see how the fight goes. Hit that like button if it was helpful. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions. Check out my channel for more tips, tricks, and guides. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.